Is now at four on the investigation into two police officers shot in Herman, Missouri. We know Detective Sergeant Mason Griffith, his picture there on the left, died at the hospital. Adam Sullentrop on the right is still being treated in the hospital. At noon now at four, after several hours in a tense standoff, police say the man responsible, Kenneth Lee Simpson, is in custody. News 4 has team coverage tonight from Herman. Our Russell Kinsall spoke with those who worked closely with Sergeant Griffith. But first, we want to check in with Caroline Hecker, who joins us live from outside the home where Kenneth Simpson was found inside after that hours long standoff. Caroline. Page. It's this home right behind me on the street. You can see traffic is actually opened back up. That was at the center of this standoff. Only a stone's throw away from the new Casey's General Store where this shooting took place. You can see the windows are blown out. The front door completely ripped off as Highway Patrol's SWAT team spent nearly three and a half hours today trying to coax Kenneth Simpson out of the house. <laughs> Now, I'm told the inside of the house is very messy, which forced the robot that crews sent in to take a lot longer to navigate than it normally would. It was inside that house for about three hours when we started hearing troopers say they were going to deploy some tear gas over their intercom and to come out of the house. Minutes later, that tear gas was thrown into several windows and troopers then went on to the porch of the home to break out a window and clear off some debris. That's when we then saw SWAT officers in the yard that were yelling and we saw Kenneth Simpson come out of the house with his hands up. He appeared to be in that same outfit that he was reported being seen last seen at the Casey's last night. He did appear to be talking and shouting at the officers and he did not look injured. Now the standoff began early this morning, if not a little before midnight, according to some of the neighbors. Uh, and it happened because two people that were living inside that home came running out and told police that the suspect, Kenneth Simpson, had run inside. That's when they evacuated, Highway Patrol evacuated the people living in that home. And I'm told the two neighboring homes as they assessed the situation, the robot was actually called in from St. Charles County. It arrived about 1045 this morning and was sent inside the home shortly thereafter. And again, spent about three and a half hours inside before they noticed something and deployed the tear gas. Now coming up at five, I'll tell you what neighbors tell me about this house. And we're also looking more into what happened there at that gas station last night that led up to the deadly shooting. We're live in Herman this afternoon. Caroline Hecker, News 4. Caroline.